Hi everyone. This video we're going to go and figure out what's the maximum distance for our extending devices to reach. So when we extend our Ethernet or PLE signal, there is a limit for each kind of device. We know each kind of device usually can repeat the signal around 100 meters. So how can we use these devices and create a maximum distance for the transmission? So let's talk about it one by one. We're going to talk about the one input, one output PoE extender, the one input, two output PoE extender, the PoE power switch, and our ultra long distance PoE switch. So now let's take a look at the PoE one input, one output extender. So it's like tube shaped. We have the input and output port. For those who haven't watched our previous videos, once we insert the input port with our PLE signal, the output port can repeat the signal for another 100 meters. So if we use 100 meters on both ends, we can get 100 meters this way and 100 meters this way. So a total of 200 meters. If we daisy chain, we can get up to 300 meters. It's going to be rather simple. It's just the PLE signal travels from the input port to the output port, repeat 100 meters. And when it reaches the second extender, the input port, the output port, and another 100 meters. So we have 100 here, 100 in the middle, and 100 here. Total of 300 meters. This is just ex adding the second extender normally. But we can always, you know, use a special trick that's only for this one input, one output extender. So the normal way is to input to output, making it this is how we daisy chain them. But when we face the two input parts together, this will cause the middle section to be a high speed long distance transmission. This section will extend up to 300 meters, which is really long, and still get another 100 meters on both ends. So in this case, we would have 100 here, 300 here, and 100 here. So 100 plus 300 plus 100, that is a total of 500 meters. And we have test this method and it works very nicely. It's very easy to set up. You can all try this at your home. So for our one input, one output, we can reach a total of 500 meters. And that's probably it. Now let's take a look at the one input, two output. This one is kind of like the first one, but it has two output ports. This one has gigabit bandwidth, has two output ports with 30 watts on each. So this is like a update version of the first one. And also it has a metal casing so the material is better, can last longer in bad environments. And also in this one, you can daisy chain up to 500 meters. So this one, we daisy chain them. It's only 300 meters. This one, we have 200 more meters. And if you think this way, you can always add devices in the middle of the transmission because there's two ports. And if we daisy chain, we only need to occupy one and the other one will be vacant. We can, we can plug it up or we can use it for like other transmissions like a wireless access point in the middle or like a camera in the middle as well. It's up to you. Just improvise. So this one, a regular connection, 100 meters, if we daisy chain up to 500 meters. So these two both, we can reach 500 meters. That's the maximum. Now let's take a look at a PoE powered switch. So if we only use PoE powered switches, we can repeat the PoE signal for another 100 meters as well. It's much like an extender, but this is integrated with a chipset in the side, which can exchange the data as well. So it can work as a PoE switch in the field. And it, it, the best part of a PoE powered switch is it acts as a powered device as well. So it receives the PoE signal and powers itself up with the PoE signal, then redistributes the PoE signal to all the other ports. That's very fantastic fancy device it's, and it's really small so it's just the same size as a one input two output but it has four output ports but this one doesn't have like the waterproof material around it so this one you have to make sure you apply some waterproof measurements when you place it outdoors and this one usually we just think of it extending for 100 meters daisy chain it's not really uh, realistic because if we daisy chain it the power will drop because powering this self up is takes more than one of these extenders. So for a PoE powered switch, the extension distance is at 100 meters, but it has its advantages in other ways. 
Now, for the fourth and the last, we're going to look at our ultra long distance PoE switch. This switch, you can see, it has eight ports, PoE ports, and they've been divided to two groups. These groups with the green dots are ultra long distance ports. 30 watts of power, and also they can transmit the signal up to 800 meters, which is the limit for any kinds of Ethernet transmission. So if we use an Ethernet cable, 800 is just limit. So then when we use this, we have to use one of these adapters on the other end. So in the middle, you can use like 750 meters of Ethernet cable from here to this and uh, 50 meters from this to our IP device. So 750 to the adapter, the adapter to the IP camera, we can use a 50 and that would be okay for this setup because we need this adapter you can think of it's re releasing or transmitting a very strong signal. Without the adapter, the IP device cannot detect it. It needs this adapter to help it detect the signal and you know, since to receive power and data from it. And then also the adapter can help it send back a very strong signal as well. So it's a two-way device. So the PoE power switch, 800 meters. These four ports, regular PoE ports, we can only go 100 meters. But it's still really nice. We have four ports that can reach the limit for any kind of Ethernet transmission. So this one is might be the device that can provide the most extension. And also another part is the two extenders and the power switch. These are all extending at mid, in the middle of the transmission. Although the PoE switch, the ultra long distance PoE switch, it releases a very strong signal, so it extends at the beginning. It is a little bit better because if we have these connections which they extend at during the transmission, if some transmission is not complete, there might be something wrong with the whole setup and we have to check in the middle of the transmission. It is okay if like not that far away and the environment's good, but if you say if you're in a very messy or complicated the territory, then it's going to be hard for you to find out which part of the transmission is broken. So then this ultra long distance PoE switch, all we have to check if the PoE switch is malfunctioning. If not, then it's the Ethernet cable and we just replace the whole Ethernet cable. It's much more convenient. Well, all these devices have their advantages and disadvantages. We just have to see which one suits our needs the most. All right, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to leave them in the section below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.